Uh, I am Danielle Redden, and um, today is the 2015 title Schuylkill Boat Parade. Um, this uh, started, I started this five years ago uh, with a group of friends. Um, basically, I have been paddling on this uh, part of the river for about 15 years. I was encouraged and inspired by having people coming down to the river, introduced to the river, having the community come together, get out on the water. Um, I've got this inflatable boat, the inflatable T-Rex. I live in West Philadelphia. Uh, my family is from Southwest Philadelphia, so I've been coming here for a long time, and um, I've always had kind of a romance um, with this portion of the river. Uh, it is tidal. It rises and falls with the cycle of the moon, and um, it's a really interesting area because it's this beautiful contrast of kind of nature and, and also um, like industry and the industrial sites. So you have the train bridges, uh, the oil refineries, and with that also there's great blue herons and fish and um, all kinds of wildlife. So I have always had a, a long-standing uh, romance with this part of the river, and uh, so I decided uh, that I was gonna start a parade, basically as what I like to call my crush art uh, to this river. So I think a lot of artists, um, you know, when they are kind of drawn to something, they maybe they will uh, do a painting or, um, you know, take photographs. And for me, my medium is parades. Uh, so uh, if I wanna kind of celebrate something and uh, I, I do a parade. So I'm Anne, we're with Protecting Our Waters. And we're here today at Riverfest because everyone's going into the water and if there was fracking on our watershed, they wouldn't be able to because it would be totally polluted. Uh, it's just nice to be out here today. It's great. Um, I love being on the river. I've had a canoe for a couple of years that I own with a friend, and I'm always trying to get out here as much as possible. And I think it's rad that the way this is set up, that you can just show up knowing this is happening or not knowing it's happening, and there's boats available for anyone. And uh, it's cool to give access to, to folks that don't have a boat, don't have wouldn't like occur to them to get one or wouldn't, wouldn't be able to get one and it's just totally public and, and uh, totally free and uh, I think it's a useful thing because the river is always here but if you don't have you know a certain a certain equipment or certain whatever then you can only just kind of look at it which is which is nice but only goes so far and I think if you can actually get in it paddle around float around see things from a different angle that'll give us everyone a better sense of their city. Our first award is for the most flashy splashy boat and that's going to the sailors who had the floaty dragon and the pink ducky and were blowing bubbles. Uh, the first parade was very small. There was about 10 of us. It was really just uh, my friends and I out here in costumes and boats having a good time. And um, it has grown uh, into quite a, a large event uh, today. Um, a, a, lot, a big part of that is because uh, we starting last year, uh, we started working with Bartram's Garden to actually make it a site-wide event. So it is the Tidal Schuylkill Boat Parade and the Bartram's Garden River Fest. Well, it looks like they're trying, it's for good change, things for good, yeah. What kind of good change? I see it look like um, they're trying to improve the neighborhood by putting different things into the neighborhood, whereas though before it looked like they weren't even trying to improve it. Like, for example, on the other side of Grace Ferry Bridge where they built all that up, and now it's nice over there and you can fish. Hopefully one day, by people coming, more people coming out here, they'll be able to bring that over here and fix this up so that you can do more things comfortably. Well, in my opinion, I don't think that it's, it's benefiting everybody because, and I'm gonna give you an example. The boat that comes from Center City and they transport people from Center City to, to Bartram Village right. to come enjoy Bartram Village and have a good time. But at the same time, I don't see where the boat picks up passengers from Bartram Village who lives in this community who would right. like to ride the boat and go in Center City and view things. All right, the award for the most gaudy chintz float goes to the boat that had the pretzels and tutu and the donut and the tutu. Uh, Bartram's Garden is uh, entering kind of a, a phase where they're really uh, they're looking to really be kind of a, an access point for the neighborhoods of uh, Southwest Philadelphia to connect with uh, the river. Um, there's a lot of folks uh, from Southwest Philly who, who use this site to, to fish, uh, but we kind of want to expand that and actually get people on the water and yeah. touching the water. And so, um, so the, the boat parade and this event is kind of, is, is part of that of moving kind of in that direction. So that's why they uh, they kind of reached out to me last year, and they were like, "Let's let's just make a huge party out of this, and uh, invite the invite the whole community." Hey, we're here with our crude oil kayak flotilla kayak train. Um, it says "Stop Oil Trains," and above us is an an oil train. Um, 
we are protesting oil trains coming through Philadelphia because we've already had two derailments in the last year and a half and the Amtrak um, commuter rail train that derailed almost tra crashed into a full tanker car of crude oil. Hey, bandana are two dollars. T-shirts are eight dollars. God, I don't want to end on selling something. <laughs>